Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to create footstep sounds and everything that's related to different types of crowns. So for example, on the crash you are normal, on the snow you are a little bit slower, but also there's a different footstep sound. And here you are again on stone, so it's again a normal footstep sound. So there is, not, there is nothing special about, um, about this scene, except this one is, no, is tech, is grass, this one is snow, and this one is intact, and about that um, I will tell you a little bit more later on. Also, but this is nothing special, um, only I got a script here, and that's everything that's for this tutorial important. Also, I use the standard asset from Unity to create this, the standard FPS controller, and that is using a character, character controller, and that's also something important. So first those lines, and well the first two, that's, uh, you're using that every time, but the third line is because you want to create a list, and the fourth one is because we want to control also the first person controller script, from um, from the standard assets. Well, first we create a public list of all the crowd types that exist. Then we also need a current crowd, and that's a string type, and we need to control this, so there's also a first person controller. And for that we need line four. The crown type, in a crown type, you have a string name, and that's just the name, just to know which one it is, and an audio clip, and this one needs to be at least two footstep sounds, it's actually a list of audio clips. And here's a float of the speed, the walk speed, and the run speed. And with this you can change the first person controller. Um, but here, here can you also add, for example, the jump in the land sound, it's just everything you can add here. I don't uh, don't add it much, just because for some people they want uh, particles, for example, because they make a car game, and for others they, ma they are making a shooter game and they want particles for the bullet. So I don't know what you want in this class, but just what you need. So this is just the basic. So at start, it says it will set a crown type, and it's just the first crown type that exists in the list. And this is the list. You got normal, snow and grass. And you can also add more and but this one has to be in the list. And normal that's just everything so you can actually reset um, all the crown types. So the footstep sounds are just your normal footstep sounds and the walk speed is normal and the run speed is normal. And that's at the beginning and we'll just reset everything from previous scenes of, or whatever. So this is snow for this one and uh, crash for this one. And in the script, it will check if it is uh, hitting a collider, otherwise it doesn't need to check this. And if from the hit, the, uh, the tag is snow, it will, from the crown types, it will get uh, the second one, and that is one in the list, so that's this one. And by snow, you walk a little bit slower, this so I just uh, turned it a little bit slower and I took another footstep sound. So, well, the same, and else if, if it is cross, and that's because you want, at last you want an else. Because sometimes you got an object that isn't tagged for something um, that exists. For example, this one is untagged, but if you didn't have those two lines in your script, you will walk on that from snow and you will still hear snow, and that will sound weird. So to fix that, there's an else and we'll just reset everything to the normal, like I said uh, earlier in this video. So now to the set crown top. That's those few lines, and 
it will cast the crown type, you set which one it was here, and it will first check if the current crown isn't the crown.name. So, for example, you can see, uh, see it here, what the current crown is. So here it is, crash, here it is snow, and here it is normal because you don't know what it is. Or actually the system doesn't know what it is. And because you know what the current crown is, you know, uh, and you said, if it isn't, the current, uh, if the current crown is a new crown, only then will this change that will increase the frame rate. Because otherwise, to every second or every frame, it will check, uh, it will see, yes, it is, uh, you are walking to a motor collider, it is snow, so set all the footstep sounds to snow. And you will get weird glitches, it will all be weird, so don't do that. Well, this is just assigning all those variables from the first person controller, but there is something important. This is, I think, everyone understands what it is. Just here, uh, set the speed of the walk and the run speed, and here set uh, all the sounds. And, but because everything is here private, you need to change it to public. So public, public, and public. With all this, you, got, uh, you can change it. Otherwise, this, this won't work. So that's something important to remember. And also, at the end, it will change the current crown to the crown.name. So for the next time, it won't change if it's the same. So I think we got everything. Um, you can also add more to it. That's actually the whole idea of this system. Because I don't know what exactly you want. But I think I said everything. And um, if you got any question, please uh, comment in the section uh, below and also hit the like button and subscribe.